So the best way, which should be covered in the article about how the best way to to get a faster power out of the bottom of your squat is going to be by becoming getting better at squatting. So what you want to do is you want to actually learn to just um, pick that same depth same speed set every single time you want to make it every single time dialing that motor pattern because once you get that in you're going to become more efficient at that motor pattern so you can recruit the right motor units to get the job done and get it done faster okay then you want to learn to commit to the descent because it kind of falls the first point but when you, a lot of times when people descend what they'll do is they they slow it down when they get a lot of weight on their back or they, they change it so it needs to be the same every time so you need to practice through the same way you know the same way every single every single rep every single set workout for workout and over time it's going to accumulate to a lot of volume done correctly it's going to so that's how you're going to build the most power on the bottom but after those bases are covered these two exercises are going to help you a bunch so the first one is the dead squat um, the dead squat is um, if you have a safety bar like we're using here in the video that's optimal but you can't do it with a free bar you want to set that about one to two inches up to three if you're a lot taller above parallel and you only want to do it for single repetitions so you want to get under the barbell and explode it up for single repetitions it's going to build starting strength rate of force development all that stuff so it's sort of like think about when you squat you squat down you store the elastic like energy the stretch reflex is going to help you initially out of the bottom but then you're kind of left to hang on your own. So where that where that elastic like energy sort of wears off, the dead squat kind of picks up, it's gonna help you build power to propel up from there. So you wanna do that again anywhere from like on the low end, one about an inch above parallel, all the way to three inches above parallel, depending on your height. And then um, the next movement's a pause squat. So that's not like an Olympic pause squat or anything else, it's just a regular pause squat. Use your competition stance or the stance you're gonna be testing your max and where you're strongest. You wanna go down to the same depth you're squatting at, Go down, hold it for one to two seconds, then come up. That's all you do. So you just go down, hold it one to two. I picked this lift up from Ed Cohn, who's obviously quite arguably the best squatter of all time. And um, that's pretty much it. So just think the same stance, same depth, same bar placement. Come down, hold it one to two seconds when you're at the bottom and you're about to come up. You don't want to try to sink down and bounce it out of the bottom. You want to stop at where you're going to stop at the bottom position and explode up from that position and that's your pause squat.